Hello everyone, welcome to Isaac Arpain for the Shwoody Fire Conquer. Last time Solomon fought quite a big battle, but now we shall march forward with Lutz here to take Nimir out. Die Nimir. Okay, that didn't happen. So Solomon will march forward to take this fortress. We're not sh I'm not sure what's inside that fortress, but I'm not gonna check out yet. I'm gonna let my generals regenerate first, then I'm gonna check out quickly. Not really anything special. I have quite some range though, like 4 units of 5, no, 5 units of range, which is not bad. A little bit of cavalry, which is gonna be useless to them. So yeah, that's not a bad army there. Then of course, Lourdes will march forward. He's the commander of Isengard, the first of the... He's, I think he's the first Uruk, isn't he? The first Uruk I created, yeah, indeed. Alright, let's go let's forward, shall we? Actually, we not move forward here. We shall first march our spy here. Hurry up. The reason why I put him here, not at this bridge, is because I also want to keep him a little bit an eye out on Pelagir. Ready. You know, Pelagir still is very important for me to know what hell's going on there. I could keep it on the bridge, which would give me a very big view about all this land, but, you know, I want to know also about Pelagir a bit. Do we, can we do anything over here? No, we no can't. Here. Okay. Nothing special there. Karandas is very, very undefended. Most of Mordor is not defended, which is weird. Where's Mordor's forces? Where are they hiding? I wish you know that. Alright, we should go to Nimea. And if we go to Nimir, we also get Brandir, it seems. Can we do a night attack? No, we can't. Okay. Thought so. Okay, Nimir has a lot of cavalry. Quite a lot of cavalry, actually. 22, 27, 7, 61. Yeah, it's quite a lot of cavalry because himself. It's bad. He does have really bad, good units, though. Most of it is territorial guards from Dumbron. They're not bad. I mean, as you can see, they're very good, considering. For militia. They're not bad. I've seen worse than that. And how much does Brandy have? Brandy has, oh, second general, but he's only three, so he shouldn't be an issue. Oh, and he has Citadel Guards, Axemen of Lossard, oh, volunteers. Child, how much better are they, actually? Three attack, same charge. The defense is where the main difference lies in, the defense. Hmm, and we also have the Tilling Rangers, which I'm not a fan of, but I see. Alright, see you on the battlefield. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Let's get everybody back now. If I get attacked by the second army, my forces will dwindle again. This army will again be beaten up, which is, I mean is really annoying. I'm wrong. It's really annoying that my army keeps getting beaten up like this because I just have to keep replenishing. It takes ages. But yeah, it's how it goes really. I'll make a line like this. There we go. Very There we go. That that's very protected against the cavalry. I really I'm I'm not scared of the cavalry, but this cavalry can do significant amount of damage. So I don't want him to let. I don't want to let him do that damage. You know. Probably should spread out these guys a little bit more than that. Let's try and do that a bit. It's not working out for the time being, but it will work out in a second. I think. Let's get these guys like this. Good, in a good position. Oh, they're not standing on the perfect spot. Yeah, we're not standing in a good spot. Let's make it a little bit more like this. Yeah, we're standing in a horrible spot, it seems. Okay, over here like this. N no, let's not do that, shall we? There's only two units. Okay, I need to get three units here. Why am I separating themselves from the others? That's not what I need to do. Let's get these three together. I'm messing up here. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. Not the, not the best amount of stick, but it will, it will, it will scare them off. I think. Let's get these two over here. Come on. There we go. Let's get them over here like this. A bit more forward because I don't want my. Why is this reformation? So I have no idea. Like this. That's better. All right. We have quite a big field to work with here. So, pikemen. In general, in the front, by lots of war tank as well. The berserkers will be the will be the ones I'm going to use to um, to flank if I ever do that. Also, to worry about my back. I don't know where the second army will come from at all, so I have to worry about where the hell they're coming from. But I don't have to worry about the stakes being lost or anything because the stake um the, my main army is going to need to fight in the start against the cavalry. That's it. Let's get our walks over here like this. And that's basically how we're gonna start this. Alright, let's start here. Alright, that's a full squad of cavalry, as expected. We'll get that thing first. Everything's on fire at will. Nobody's running away. Delayed. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on, that's it. What did I do? Misclick there. Oh. No. No, don't be that stupid. 
No! Look at what they're doing! They're idiots! They're literal idiots! Oh well, that, that, that's not good. That, that's not good at all. I don't like that. Get a position, quickly. What the hell is this? You see this? They, they, I, I immensely stopped them. Look what they're doing. I didn't, they didn't stop, they just kept going. Alright, run back in. That's gonna be a bad thing for me. That's gonna say, that's gonna cost me some time. That's not good. That's gonna cost me a lot of time. Everyone run, please. They need to be quick. Position quickly! You need to start firing already! Yeah, you need to start firing already, for God's sake, you idiots. This might cross my crossman has not really been harmed by this because they couldn't fire anyway yet. Yeah, we should start firing now. Okay, we start firing now. Okay, some of them are restored. It's only one unit. Two, three of them restored, four. Fire against their pikemen over here. Let's fire a little bit against their cavalry, that would be nice, but... A little bit against... No, you need to fire against their more value units. Not against their arch, that would be a waste, I think. Rip them apart, indeed. Shell. Yeah, charging with your cavalry, it's not gonna do anything. At least not anything horrible, even special. Fire against their... No, fire against their main force of cavalry, not against their weak force of cavalry. Actually, let's get these two to fire against that. Quickly pause for a second. Okay, we need to prepare ourselves to charge forward because we need to be ready for this. Okay, Lutz can fire against their cavalry here. We just need to focus on the cavalry mainly. Fire against that. Fire against that. That. Fire against the general a little bit. You fire against their generals. Really. Okay. Cards of all time can charge against these pikemen over here. They're not gonna run in yet, so they're gonna be very slow in marching. My pikemen can march forward, just march forward. And my guys can also march forward a little bit. Yeah, charge in here, it's gonna get you killed. Just don't, don't, I'm not doing, please. Be my guest. I mean, really. It will be my pleasure to exterminate you all like that. All right, so we're marching forward here. We need to run forward now. Engage. Engage. The guardsmen here are going to fight against me, so we're going to bring one raider unit in order to engage with them as well. Charging here with your cavalry. Please do that. Please do that to me. Come on. Please do that. They're being shot, but they're not being killed. That's not good. Uh, they're getting weakened, I guess, but... They're hitting my archers, which is insignificant this, for the time being. They hit my crossman, which is kind of weird that they're able to do that one. I'm gonna use Uruk Tide here, because it just is so good. They lost 23% of their army, which is a significant amount. Lost a lot of cavalry already, which is good. That's the main force I have to worry about here. Jotro Godsman are fighting against my Urukai infantry. They're doing very well because they have the general support here. And they're gonna get more support from charges from cavalry. The infantry line of them is so thin, they can actually hit my my infantry, my archers, my infantry very well with their cavalry. Their cavalry can do some significant amount of charges, really. All right, we're gonna bring in our our own cavalry. We're gonna start swinging them around here, over here. Start moving them around because they need to chase down the fleeing enemy. They're not allowed to engage here with anything else, though. Without fighting axemen of lost arc, we need to worry about them breaking sooner or later. They will break sooner or later, but I want to be soon, to say the least. Engage here. Let's bring our raider here to the sides. Though I, that's dangerous because it could, they could hit me with their cannon. I'm sure my Uruk archers are here. Half their men. Yeah, they're doing something weird. I guess they're trying to get to the cavalry here. I'm not sure really. The raiders here will provide support. The cavalry is doing nothing of value really. And if they charge even here, they're gonna have to fight. They're gonna have to face the pikemen. So. Yeah, good luck with that. Fight against their cavalry here. Yeah, they're gonna get skilled here quickly. Cavalry's gonna hit me there, but it shouldn't be that bad, I hope. Let's get over here. They're gonna hit me. It's gonna be significantly bad, I think, now. I'm not sure. I really can't tell. They lost. 67% of the army. Let's do Uruk Tai again. They're not breaking, which is impressive, to say the least. The 
general's not dying though. It's 30% of his life to the left. Mm. Let's hit these guys from the flank here so they can break eventually. Um, they're breaking, hitting my raiders here very significantly. Lost 5% of my raiders already because of my army. Let's get our walks after them for a second. We have one more Uruk tied. I want to save if the second army comes. So I want to know that. Save that. I want to save that up. I want to spare that. Let's fight against the cavalry here. They're going to hit me hard here. That's going to be a good charge of them. Let's hit them with our own, cat, with our own walks now. Charge them in. Come on. Make them break. Make them break. Breaking would be very good. Oh, the charge could be good here. Come on. We killed a few. Get out of there before we kill. We lose more. It's morale damage, I suppose. My pikemen here are doing nothing. Go after general. Engage him. This general youth has wrecked my raiders. Look at this. One charge. That's what I've been doing, and they're doing it to me. I don't like that. Okay, they have, they're broken through. My force have broken through. Let's lock the general down. Let's get the arch to stop firing. So if the second army comes, I can still have some arrows left. So go after their forces here with our walks. Make them completely break. Pikeman, why are you so slow? I know you're slow moving, but you're... My entire unit is being killed by this guy. In melee, he's not even charging, for God's sake. Look at this. What is this? Oh, the general died. That was quick, actually. I didn't expect him to die that quickly, to be honest. Well, that's not good, because look at what he's doing over here. They go after my walks, masters. Oh no, you don't engage with that. You don't engage with that. You pull back now. The reason why you pull back is simple reason actually. Because if you don't pull back and you prepare for the second army, be prepared. Basically, that's what I want you to do. Be ready for the second army. Then my pikemen deal with those things. They can do it. Chase down these guys. We're all retreating. Chase down. Chase down these guys over here. Love to get these guys, but they're, oh, their cavalry can't catch those guys at all. They run faster than me, and they have so much of a head start. Very unlikely. The general unit here is doing I don't something I don't like. They're following me. They're following my walks. Oh well, so be it. I mean, there's not my walks gonna survive it. I guess I don't know. Let's pull back. Don't go after them now. Not now. Their cavalry runs faster than me, doesn't they? Of course they do. Because well. Walks don't run as fast. It's it's true. Walks don't run. Oh, they're, they're going away from me. Why did they do that one? Hmm, weird. Let's get some speed here because we were waiting for the second army the anyway. Very much in our favor. Victory will did be it out. arrive yet? It didn't arrive. It's interesting. Get for these guys now. It's interesting. The second army did not arrive yet. It might not arrive at all, to be honest. You probably should shoot at these guys. Except everyone except you. Oh, and you guys did march back, for God's sake. Oh, you guys definitely did march back here. Run away. Except you. Run over here, because you shall engage those cavalry over here. Very slow response on my part, to say the least. They will get hit, but their hit should not be that bad, I hope. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. They killed six guys with that. No, no, you march back, you march back, thank you. Their cavalry should die off pretty quickly, I hope. You guys, my archers, the bastards. It's left stake, so they won't pursue that long. I got for those over here. The march stop firing again. Second army has arrived. Oh god, that's actually something I instantly noticed. Okay, we need to prepare ourselves for this one. We have a bit of stakes here we can still use. I'm gonna use them. Definitely. Get our arches over here like this. Get our arches over here like this. Loot, where the hell are you? You should be safe there. You. Is that army comp Is that those are those uh, things broken over here? I believe that. No, they're not. Interesting. To say the least. Their arches over here are still firing against me. They will be very insignificant. Okay, let's let's prepare ourselves for this battle, shall we? What? They hit. They got through. Why am I 
How did they get through? How did my crossman get hit so hard? For God's Stop this doing this, you bastard. Stop just stop doing that, for God's sake. Alright, what is going on here, for God's sake? What are you guys doing? Okay, um So weird. So weird, you don't really realize your men are so stupid sometimes. You're getting fired upon, which is annoying, but it doesn't really it's dangerous at all, really. Uh, we get our guys over here. Should dress up the circus really as well. Walks. Not sure what uh, you walks, you can go after cow the archers over here. Get rid of them. Okay, what are you left? You are a very, very small amount, it seems, because I can't find you. Five. How much are you left over here? Go after those guys quickly. They will not come back, those guys. Yeah, they won't. It's impossible, basically. Wait, what? What do we think so much die fire from? What the hell? Are they firing against me with their artillery ranges? They are. Wow, they have so much range. Holy crap! Look at their range. I know they have that much range. What am I saying? I really do know about that. I'm the one who's been using that range all the time. All right, go after, ignore that army. We're gonna lose more men if we ignore that army for now. Go after the archers over here. We need to hit their artillery ranges, basically. If we don't, we're gonna lose a lot of men. I'm talking about a lot of men. Because the Tillian Rangers do hit like trucks compared to my army. They're firing against me at full power, basically. They're, gonna keep, they're not going to keep doing that, but I don't like it. Nonetheless. You have some of the stakes you could still use. The flanking. It's going to be amazing, but... Uh, actually, we should get our pikemen over here to protect this flank. And we should train these two around to at this side. The reason because of that, the stakes protect this flank. And Scarby, the pikemen protect that. They're hitting my pikemen! No! Those units are not meant to take arrow fire! That's how it goes, though. Nothing I can do about it. We need to kick their artillery ranges out as soon as we can. Because their damage can be very significant. Okay, we need to stop firing against this army. Because actually, we're not doing that. That's stupid! Fire against everything they got! Basically. Fire everything we got at them. Yeah, run. Oh no, you're gonna do this? Please do this. Please do this! Wait, that's gonna be a weird one. Oh. Alright, we're gonna slow this down a bit because I'm really a fan of this. Alright, we need to swing around here to hit their cavalry, their archers. The archers are our main priority here in terms of skill. Engage! If we continue like this, we will Engage! We're gonna use Uruk Tide now! That's well, a good amount of time to use that one. Reinforce this. Archers, fire against their general. Well, actually, no. Not all of you can fire. Fire against their general. Definitely crossbow. You guys are good at that. This one guy is annoying, but he won't do much, I think. If you look tied up. These guys, oh, they're hitting my raiders here, so it's like no big deal. It's like, yeah, they're hitting my archers. Oh, wait, no, it's my raiders, my second line of infantry. No big deal, they'll be fine. Arches, oh, the arches do quite a lot of damage here from their arches. Impressive. Go after his killing rangers. The general's taking quite a beating here from arrow fire. That's nice. I can't fire against these lines over here, which is saddening. We're gonna fire one guy here against the axeman Lossar. That'd be nice. Walks hopefully can do some good amount of damage here. I hope. Against their artillery rangers, they're so clumped up. They should do some significant amount of damage. Also, their Blackwood Veil arches, which are, ugh, they're just good. I mean, I like them. No more, I like those guys, but I don't like fighting them. I like having them. They wreck my enemies, but I they, they kill me, so hey. They will react to it as they did. They're reacting instantly. However, we killed off over 40 Italian Rangers, I think. So yeah, it was worth the dam damage you're going to take right now. It's going to be not that great. Oh no, don't engage. That, then your damage will be great. If you engage that right now. Because they're being fired upon by crossbowmen, for God's sake. I guess there's Gondor Rogers here. Keep marching, keep marching, keep marching. Don't stop. You're gonna get caught, aren't you? Because you're too slow. God damn it. We're getting, we're getting killed here. What the hell's going on here? We're getting killed, over God's sake. Look at this. You see this? I thought we're dying. Because they're hitting from the flank, of course. Makes no sense, really. Get these guys from the flank. Those are archers. What the hell? Did I send my raiders forward or send anything else forward? Okay, you same thing. Go forward. We need to hit these guys hard now because they're overrunning me. The Sith of God is killing off my gods of all tank, big time. And they're killing off my entire cavalry. What the hell's going on here? Look at this. Look at this one.
They're just cutting through my ca- Yeah, stop fighting. I mean, what's the point? You're gonna die anyway. Stop fighting. At least you can kill something. What the hell? They're just getting cut down in one shot. What the hell is that kind of bullshit? How's that even allowed? They're hitting my ar arches over here, are they? No, they're hitting my crossman. Oh my god. I'm making big mistakes here again. I don't like it. And I'm losing my army to this small, insignificant force. They're doing so much damage to me. Look at this. What the hell is this? They killed me off with... Uh, they're destroying me with arrows. And they're destroying my, my even my pikemen. For God. Look at this. They're not breaking. Just... My archers are dying in, in ever. Berserkers need to get in here to provide... Yeah, I, I forgot about you guys. You guys need to provide morale damage to the enemy here. The axemen, the axemen are destroying my pikemen. It's impressive. Oh, give me a sec. Alright, we are back. Sorry about that. I had to cough. You might have heard it a little bit. Hit them from the flank now. Berserkers need to get in here quickly. Raiders. No, those are archers. What are you? Enemy general fall. That's good. Is their main general or their small general? I'm not sure. Fire against their citadel guard, for God's sake. Look at them. They're not dying. Their citadel guard don't take any form of damage, it seems. Annoying as hell. Gonna say. Yeah, keep running into those spikes. Those stakes. I like them. Keep taking damage. I like that. They wrecked my cavalry, though. What did they did to my cavalry? I have no idea. They just destroyed them. Literally, they just obliterated my entire cavalry line there. What the hell is that kind of... They're killing my berserkers. Berserkers, go after those archers over there. Their, br their infantry line is breaking. That's nice. Their infantry line seems to be breaking. They're killing my berserkers, and now they're gonna get killed by cavalry. Because I was stupid and I sent them out forward. Look at the damage they're doing. What is this? How come my cavalry does not do that well in super prolonged combat? How come their cavalry is always better? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Need to go kill their assistant oh god, ain't I? Yeah, the assistant guard's gonna be a pain in the ass to fight. You would think my ca my infantry would be oh, my cavalry would also do that. But it can't. No, my walks are meant to be charges and not the fighters, but still, it's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? My cavalry dies off in five seconds, while their cavalry lives for five years. Again, stakes, pikemen. I'm complaining here, but that's how it goes. Wait, what's this? What else is that kind of infantry line there? What the hell? They're fighting back, are they not? Yeah, of course they are. They're coming back. Because they don't break. Yes, I forgot. They don't break. Uh, great. My entire army is dead. Again. Ugh. And I can't chase them down, so I have to go inside the city. This is even better every second. They're still firing us, me, are they not? Yeah, they still are. Because bullshit. Oh, they're still the god. They're dying. That's good. At least they're dying off. I think. I'm not sure, really. What's what you get if you bring an army of, Reaver, of uh, raiders, I guess, but yeah. Fight those guys! Only half the enemy force remains! Don't engage with anything, enemies that's you're gonna be charged. Yeah, you're being slaughtered over here. Because you follow those Italian rangers there. What is this? The Italian rangers are gonna charge against me now? Why did you run away in the first place, then? What? What kind of bush is that? What are you fighting? You're fighting against the uh, Axemen of Lossark? They're still alive? What? Fight against those guys. No, no, don't fight against them. Fight against those guys. Engage them in least to make them break. Seems like Sithal guards have been broken. Good. I don't, well, actually, no, they haven't. What are they fighting? 20 of them are left. They're holding me back big time. You are not doing anything, so I want you to do something. Don't charge those things down. The raiders are hitting these archers over here. The raiders are holding for the time being over here. Because the axe have lost my... Berserkers are dead, but they're taking some guys with them, I think. I guess if they die and they call the enemy with them, I think that's nice. 
I'll live with that one. The thing is, I can't chase them down, so I will have to fight the entire army again. So yeah, it's being an arch sword to make these things, these guys just break, just end the battle here. Still, God is still fighting though. That's the impressive part about this. How they keep fighting? I have no idea. They don't break the bastards. There are three of them left. Impressive. Charge into them, come on. My, my, help my berserkers out. Help my poor berserkers out. Against the artillery range, we're still firing. How much arrows do they got? Good lord. Infinity? Probably do. What's her? No, we continue battle. Continue battle for the time being. No, no, we're not ending the battle yet, that's for sure. All I have to go after those guys over there. Everything you catch in between is very nice. Chase them. My archers are chasing down. I guess it's better than nothing. At least somebody's chasing down. We're catching a few of them, which is something, but we're not gonna catch the entire force. That's impossible. We might catch maybe five of them still, I guess. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I brought in raiders. I lost my, all my army, which is at 1,500. Aim horrible numbers. Actually, we lost more than that. Alright, the battle's over. No, yeah, there we go. We lost 1,300 men. Killed about 2,000. Those are bad rates, can I say? They have remained, so they will still be inside the settlement. I believe their general has died, though. I wish to know I could see this, but I can't. Okay, we killed the most, and we lost the most. Casually inflicted Urukai infantry. They did well, considering their casualties sustained. What does them heal? That's good. Um, Urukai raiders, yeah. Yeah. That's what you get if you bring subpar units to battle. Look at this. They lost 226 men. They killed four. Yeah. <laughs> the raiders here do not show good numbers. What can I say? 163 lost. Killed 62. My archers killed better than that, for God's sake. Yeah, that, that's not good. My crossmen also lost a lot because of that charge I didn't expect. I was like, how the hell did they get charged? Hmm, mistakes were made, but my, you can definitely notice, my, my walks did disappoint them, I mean, really. How did that happen? They just got cut down, like, they, they kept charging, they kept dying. How did they, how did they do that? I have no idea, I never can do it, how can they do it? Interesting. But yeah, um, I'm talking about doing it with their cavalry, not with my cavalry, I mean, they, my cal when I am playing with their cavalry, I cannot do that, what they can do. Which is weird. But yeah, it's okay. I mean, I do even more crazy stuff sometimes, what the heck. Urukai archers, yeah, they killed more than they have lost, basically. I mean, really. Urukai pikemen, they're the ones that are equalized here. They're the ones that won me the battle, basically. Get away with the Urukai infantry. Probably the Urukai bodyguard, considering they're slow units. Yeah, I will end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. See you then. Bye.